one. Here we go. Well, a long time ago, when I was around, I don't know, 12, 13, 14 years old, I built an all-electric car. The same idea that Taylor has right now, where he's selling the Coda all-electric car. I had a, a car that was put together by uh, two by fours and uh, a cord and uh, tires off, a, tr off a, uh, a, a wagon that I had and I put, the, uh, put it all together. I had a starter motor for the motor, a starter motor from an automobile and uh, then I had a battery, a six, six volt battery from an auto automobile and uh, I put it all together in the car, the car you could sit in and ride in. <clears throat> so I put it all together and I sat down in it and I drove, you could drive it, and it had a, a, a range of about one block. So if you went down the block, down the city block half the way and turned around and came back, you were able to get home. Otherwise, you'd get down at the other end of the block and you were just stuck. You had to push it home which I did on several occasions. But then uh, I realized I needed more range, which is the same thing they realize now as the new electric cars. The more range you have, the better off you are. And uh, I bought, I put a t another battery on the car. So we had two batteries with all the weight and uh, I charged them up and they would, it would go down to the end of the block and turn around and come back again. And so it, that was a great improvement, but I had a great time with that car. Now I remember the tires were uh, pneumatic. They, they were, it was off a, tr off a wagon that I uh, had, that had pneumatic tires on it. <coughs> and uh, it was a belt drive, as I remember. And I had a pulley on the motor, on the electric motor, and a pulley on one of the tires. And one time it was, I had it uh, out in the snow. And of course, it didn't go anywhere in the snow. The tire just spun in the snow. Uh, so I conjured up a set of a, a chain, a set of chains that I could put on the tire, and then it would go in the snow. The chains were a very good uh, a substitute for uh, no snow. But we ended up with a uh, uh, a car that would run in the snow, and we'd go down to the end of the block and back again. And it was really quite fun. And we had uh, people in the school where I was, they came out and looked at it. People across the street came over and looked at it. It's quite a, quite a uh, curiosity sight. But that was a long time ago. I don't know what year. That must have been during the war, I would say, or just before the war. No, it was just before the war started, World War II. And uh, I was in a... Uh, I think it was the winter and spring of uh, about 1940, 1941. But that was the adventure of my electric car. But years and years and years later, Trudy and I were in a used uh, a car, uh, automobile car lot, a Toyota car lot, and I saw this car. It said that the mileage on the car, on the window, on the sticker window, the uh, Miley said that it went 52 miles uh, uh, per, per gallon uh, in, town. On, on, in town and 45 on the highway. I said, uh-huh, they've made a mistake. They've typed this thing up wrong and I'll come back the next day. That was Sunday afternoon. So I came back the next day and told them that they had the wrong data on their uh, window, of course. And they said, "Oh no, that's the correct data. This is a new car, and this is what this is what it happened. What happens?" So I said, "Do you have any literature on it?" And I said, "No, we're not really. Uh, we have a three-ring binder upstairs that we can go loan you if you bring it back tomorrow." So they went upstairs and got this three-ring binder, and it was very interesting, put out by Toyota, and they brought it down from the, up above, up up the second floor, and I took it home and I studied it that night. And I said, this is very interesting. This is a nice car. This is a nice idea. And so I uh, ended up coming back the next day with Trudy. And we ended up, we, we 
ended up, they had one car in the showroom that belonged to somebody else. And it wasn't even in the showroom, it was out in the lot. And they were not trying to sell it at all. As a matter of fact, they were trying to not sell it. And I asked them if we could drive it, and they said, yes, you could. So we went out for about a 20-minute spin. Turned out that uh, we could turn that car around, make a U-turn in, in the space of a, of a, of a street. Uh, it was like a London taxi cab. The turning radius on the car was unbelievable. So, compared to the car we were, had been driving. So we came back to the parking lot where the two salesmen were, and they, we got out of the car, and it was in uh, October, November, somewhere in there. And we got out of the car, and they said, they walked up to us and they said, you want to buy the car, don't you? And I said, yes, we do. I said, how did you know? They said, we haven't missed. When anybody has driven this car as a, uh, a loaner or a, uh, like you did, they all come back and they want to buy the car. And I said, well, we would like to buy the car too. When can we get delivery? And they said, five months. So I said, well, okay, put our name down. And we did. Five months later, we got the car. It was on two, two, let's see. 2 February 22nd, 02, and uh, when we when we signed up for it, so we got an 02 car. It was the first of the series that they had, and now they're in about the third or fourth series of, of hybrids. And we waited and waited and waited, and finally got our car. But it was really a uh, a, a wonderful thing. We still have the car. Our youngest son. We gave it to our youngest son, Taylor, and he and his family are driving around in it to this very day, and it has almost 100,000 miles on the car. This is after the salesman, who had been trying not to sell us the car, told us that the battery itself, after about 5,000 miles, was going to cost $5,000 to replace. Little did they know. So you don't want to believe was, everything you hear. That was the early Prius. That was the number one early Prius, and the car came in, it was green. We, we, we had a green car, and uh, the paint was green, and it, was, it turned out to be a, a, a green car. And we also were able to take about $2,000 off our income tax as a credit because we bought a, uh, a, an electric car, a, a hybrid electric car. Yeah.